Let's solve the problems from exercise 6.4. So let's read the question. The first question is, find the non-parametric form of vector equation and Cartesian equations of the straight line passing through the point with position vector 4i cap plus 3j cap minus 7k cap and parallel to the vector 2i cap minus 6j cap plus 7k cap. So we are given that the line passes through the point with a position vector 4i cap plus 3j cap minus 7k cap. So let's say given vector A is equal to 4i cap plus 3j cap minus 7k cap and the line is parallel to the vector 2i cap minus 6j cap plus 7k cap so we can define vector b as 2i cap minus 6j cap plus 7k cap now the non-parametric vector equation of the straight line is or vector minus a vector multi uh, uh, product with cross product with b vector is equal to zero vector so here replacing a and b we get or vector minus vector a is 4i cap plus 3j cap minus 7k cap cross product with 2i cap minus 6j cap plus 7k cap is equal to 0 vector this is our non-parametric form of the vector equation. Next, let's do the Cartesian equations. Cartesian equations. Okay. Now, we know the Cartesian equation is given by x minus x1 divided by b1 is equal to y minus y1 divided by b2 is equal to z minus z1 divided by b3 where our x1 y1 z1 is equal to 4 3 and minus 7 from vector a and our b1 b2 b3 is equal to 2 minus 6 and 7 from vector b 2 minus 6 and 7 so replacing these values here we get x minus 4 divided by 2 is equal to y minus 3 divided by minus 6 is equal to z plus 7 so minus 7 here divided by 7 so that's our answer question number two find the parametric form of vector equation and cartesian equations of the straight line passing through the point minus 2 3 4 and parallel to the straight line which is given by this expression now we know if the line is parallel to this you know equation then minus 4 5 6 will be the direction ratios of that can be the direction ratios of that vector so using this as x1 x2 and x3 if we form a vector then that vector will be parallel to this required vector so let's define the point as a here so let's say given 
vector a is equal to minus 2 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 4 k cap. And let's define our vector b, which is the parallel vector as using minus 4, 5 and 6. So minus 4 i cap plus 5 j cap plus 6 k cap. Now the parametric form form of vector equation of the straight line is given by r vector is equal to a vector plus t b vector. So substituting the values of vector a and b we get is equal to minus 2 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 4 k cap plus t times of minus 4 i cap plus 5 j cap plus 6 k cap. So that's our parametric form of equation, vector equation. Next, let's do the Cartesian equations. So for the Cartesian equations, the form of the Cartesian equations is x minus x1 divided by b1 is equal to y minus y1 divided by b2, which is equal to z minus z1 divided by b3, where b1, b2, b3 or the direction ratios or it can also be the, you know, uh, x1, y1 and uh, z1 of a parallel vector, right. So, here we will now define where our x1, y1 and z1 will be equal to the vector a point which will be minus 2, 3 and 4 and our b1 b2, b3 is equal to minus 4, 5 and 6. So replacing these values we get x minus plus 2 by minus 4 is equal to y minus 3 by 5 is equal to z minus 4 by 6. That's our Cartesian equations. Question number 3. Find the points where the straight line passes through 6, 7, 4 and 8, 4, 9 cuts the x, z and y, z plane. All right. So you have a straight line which passes through these two points and we need to find the point where it cuts the x, z plane and the y, z plane. Okay. So what are we given? We are given straight line passes through the points 6, 7, 4 and 8, 4, 9, right? And the direction ratio for the straight line, we can derive it with, from these two points. So if you subtract these two points, the x values, y value and z value, you will get the direction ratio. So this will be 8 minus 6 which is 2 and 4 minus 7 which will be minus 3 and 9 minus 4 which is 5. Okay, so that's our direction ratio. So using these we can find our Cartesian equations as equations 
as x minus we can take the first point 6 divided by the ratio which is 2 is equal to y minus 7 by minus 3 and that's equal to z minus 4 divided by 5. So this is our Cartesian equation here. So we can further equate this as equal to t. So we can say that our our x, y and z will be equal to 2 times t plus the 6. So it will be 2t plus 6 comma similarly y will be minus 3t plus 7. So 7 minus 3t and z will be equal to 5t plus 4. 5t plus 4. So keeping this, let's see the first scenario where the line straight line passes or cuts the x z plane. So the first scenario that we would take is the straight line cuts the x z plane. So our y will be equal to 0 here. Therefore, when our y is 0, you have 7 minus 3t is equal to 0 since y is 0. So this implies that our t is now equal to 7 by 3. If we substitute this t is equal to 7 by 3 in these points, then this is the point which cuts the x z plane. So let's substitute into this. So we have 2t plus 6 comma 7 minus 3t comma 5t plus 4 equal to substituting 7 by 3 you get 2 times 7 by 3 plus 6 comma 7 minus 3 times 7 by 3 comma 5 times 7 by 3 plus 4. For the simplifying we can get 14 14 plus 18 by 3 comma this will be a 0 and this will be 35 plus 12 divided by 3 and that's equal to 32 by 3 comma 0 comma 47 over 3. So the required point is 32 by 3 O and 47 by 3 which passes through the x z plane. Now let's do the second case where we need the y z plane. So, the straight line cuts y, z plane. So, when it cuts the y, z plane, your x here is 0. So, substituting 2t plus 6 as 0, we get 2t plus 6 is equal to 0. We get our t is equal to minus 6 by 2, which is equal to minus 3. So substituting this t value here, which is minus 3, t is equal to minus 3, 
into this points, we will get the required point. So let's substitute 2t plus 6 comma 7 minus 3t comma 5t plus 4 will be equal to 2 times minus 3 plus 6 comma 7 minus 3 times minus 3 comma 5 times minus 3 plus 4. Simplifying this, this will be minus, this, this will be 0 and our 7 plus 9 will become 16 and minus 15 plus 4 will become minus 11. So, the required point is 0, 16, minus 11. Our question number 4 says, find the direction cosines of a straight line passing through the points 5, 6, 7 and 7, 9, 13. Also, find the parametric forms of vector equation and Cartesian equations of the straight line passing through two given points. So first we need to find the direction cosines. So let's say our first part of the answer should be finding the direction cosines. Okay, now the two points that are given to us are so given points 5, 6, 7 and 7, 9, 13. So our direction ratio can be or 7 minus 5 will be 2, 9 minus 6, 3, 13 minus 7, that is 6. So that's our direction ratio. And if we find the direction cosine ratios, cosines will be 2 divided by square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared comma 3 divided by square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared 6 divided by square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared so that's our direction cosine so further solving this we can get it as 2 by 7 3 by 7 and 6 by 7 so that's our direction cosines next we need to find the parametric form of the equation passing through these two points so that's our second part of the question which is finding the parametric form of vector equation passing through the given points. The given points are 5, 6, 7, 7, 9, 13. And we already found the direction ratios as 2, 3 and 6. So we can now write our parametric equation as r vector is equal to a vector plus t times of b vector minus a vector. So that's the formula. So here now our vector a can be defined as 5i cap plus 6j cap plus 7k cap and our vector b is defined as 7i cap plus 9j cap plus 13k cap. 
So substituting these values onto this, we get vector A is 5i cap plus 6j cap plus 7k cap plus t times b vector minus a vector. So it is 7 minus 5 will be 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 6k cap. So that's our parametric form of the vector equation passing through these two given points. Next to find the Cartesian form or Cartesian equations. So the Cartesian equations of the straight of the straight line passing through these two given points. Okay. So this is given by the formula x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1. So where our x1, y1, z1 is equal to 5, 6 and 7. 5, 6, 7 and our x2, y2 and z2 is equal to 7, 9 and 13. 7, 9 and 13. So replacing into this we can say x minus 5 divided by x2 minus x1 7 minus 5 will be 2 that is equal to y minus 6 divided by 3 and that's equal to z minus 7 divided by 6 that's our result thank you for watching math tutorial anand please like and you can comment if you have any questions and do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.